Okay, we are on the back side of the worksheet now where you were calculating slope by from two points counting the rise over run. Now we, this is very similar except for that the line is already done. We're on the back side now. So the line is already drawn in. So you guys are gonna count slope by doing rise over run or I hope you noticed in this case it is falling from left to right. So this is actually gonna be a negative slope. So I'm gonna go ahead and write um, a negative just so I don't forget, down is negative. Um, so I need to pick two points. There are not two points picked. So I'm going to pick two points that intersect at exact corners of the grid. So I can't pick any of these because they're not meeting exactly. Oh, here, it meets exactly here. So I also could have picked this one. There's another one down here. So I'm going to pick these two points. And from there, we're going to count rise over run. Or in this case, it falls and then goes over. So how many does it go down? Looks like one. Um, how many does it go to the right? One, two, three, four. So it goes down one over four. So down one makes it negative one. So negative one over four. Um, just real quick out of curiosity, if you had picked this point and this point, let me emphasize them. If you had picked these two points, you would have still got the same answer. You would have just gone down two, so instead, that would have been down 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But if you know that down 2 over 8 simplifies, it actually simplifies to negative 1 fourth, or to 1 fourth, and then you know it's negative because it's going downhill. So actually, these would end up being the same thing no matter which points you pick, as long as you pick at an exact intersecting corner like that. Okay, let's try number two. Pick two points. That is your first goal, is to pick two points. I see lots of points. You could actually pick any of these because they actually meet exactly in the corner. So just pick two. I'm going to pick that one and maybe that one. Doesn't matter. It's going uphill from left to right, so it's positive. And the two points I picked go right, it rises one, two, three, and it runs one, two, three, three over three. So it goes up 3 over 3, which 3 over 3 simplifies to one whole. And if you just wanted to double check, these are going up 1 over 1 each time. So this slope is 1 over 1 because that's what it's doing. It's going up 1 over 1 every time. So that's why any two dots that we pick would have simplified to 1. All right, number 3. First, you have to pick two points. So I'm going to go along here. I see one right here that intersects at an exact corner. And then I'm going to keep going. I don't see any. I don't see any. There's one. Okay. And it's going uphill from left to right, so it's positive. And it is positive. It goes up one, two, and over one, two, three, four, five. So remember, you always put how many rise on the top of your fraction. And then how many run goes on the bottom of your fraction. So two-fifths and two-fifths does not simplify. So you're done. Slope is two-fifths. All right, number four, the first thing you should see is that it's going down from left to right. That is a negative slope. So I'm going to go ahead and write a negative off to the side so I don't forget. And then I'm going to pick two points. Um, you know what? There's one there and there. There's also one here. Here, here, this is another one of those that's going down one over one. But just for argument's sake, say I pick those two. It's going to go down two and over two. So down two over two, any number over itself simplifies to one. So negative one. It is going, oops, sorry about that. It is going down one over one each time. Okay, number five. Number five is going uphill, so it's positive. So I'm looking for a dot to pick. I'm gonna pick this one and this one. So rise over run again. It looks like you rise one and you run one, two, three, four. So up one over four. So that would be up one over four written like this, one fourth. All right, try to push pause and try number six on your own. Oh, just kidding. Well, you might be able to. Otherwise, you could um, just look at it and kind of remember we talked about this in class. But if it's just a flat horizontal line, it's not rising at all. So if I pick this point and this point, say, 
it doesn't rise at all. So it's zero over however many you picked for it to run. So I picked going over one, two, three, four, five, but really it could be zero over one, zero over two, zero over three, it doesn't matter. But zero divided by anything is just zero. And what you guys hopefully should know by now is that a flat horizontal slope has no steepness at all. It is a zero slope because it's not steep at all. Think about going skiing. This would be a negative skiing slope because you're going downhill. This is positive. And this one, if you're skiing on it, has no incline or decline at all. So it's zero. So that is why you should remember a horizontal line is always a zero slope. Okay.